Welcome to the cybersecurity tutorial series designed to help you better protect your information and devices from cyber attacks. Tutorial 11, understanding denial of service attacks. A denial of service attack occurs when legitimate users are unable to access information systems, devices or other network resources due to the actions of a malicious cyber threat actor. Services affected may include email, websites, online accounts like banking or other services that rely on the affected computer or network. DOS attacks can cost an organisation both time and money while their resources and services are inaccessible. A distributed denial of service attack occurs when multiple machines are operating together to attack one target. DDoS attackers often leverage the use of a botnet, a group of hijacked internet connected devices to carry out large scale attacks. Attackers take advantage of security vulnerabilities or device weaknesses to control numerous devices using command and control software. If you think you or your business is experiencing a DOS or DDoS attack, it is important to contact the appropriate technical professionals for assistance. Contact your network administrator to confirm whether the service outage is due to maintenance or in-house network issues. Network administrators can also monitor network traffic to confirm the presence of an attack, identify the source and mitigate the situation by applying firewall rules and possibly rerouting traffic through a DOS protection service. Contact your internet service provider or ISP to ask if there is an outage on their end or even if their network is the target of the attack and you are an indirect victim. They may be able to advise you on an appropriate course of action. How do you avoid being a target? While there is no way to completely avoid becoming a target of a DOS or DDoS attack, there are protective steps administrators can take to reduce the effects of an attack on their network. Enroll in a DOS protection service that detects abnormal traffic flows and redirects traffic away from your network. The DOS traffic is filtered out and then clean traffic is passed on to your network. Create a disaster recovery plan to ensure successful and efficient communication, mitigation and recovery in the event of an attack. Strengthen security on internet connected devices. It's also important to take steps to strengthen the security posture of all of your internet connected devices in order to prevent them from being compromised. Install and maintain antivirus software. Install a firewall and configure it to restrict traffic coming into and leaving your computer. Evaluate security settings and follow security best practices in order to limit the access other people have to your information, as well as manage unwanted traffic. Check out more videos from this cybersecurity tutorial series to learn how you can better protect your information and devices from cyber attacks. Cyber Health is powered by the Chamber of Commerce and Industry Queensland and RED. This project is funded by the Australian Government Department of Industry, Science, Energy and Resources through the Cybersecurity Business Connect and Protect program. For more information, visit cyberhealth.com.au.